Okay, Whiteman well, was up here doing some video and helping us with doing some of the dyno work on the 7.3. Uh, he asked a lot of questions about all the parts that are being developed and what might be an appropriate application. So, what well, I want to start with was with the stock connecting rod. Stock connecting rod is a classic Ford powder metal rod. It does have a bush small end, uh, has torque yield fasteners. It's a, it's a nice, pretty stout piece. The stock piston is a cast uh, piston coated, um, nice tight ring package, tapered pin, uh, it's, it's a very, very good piston. I think these parts are going to make everybody pretty comfortable at the 800 horsepower level, maybe even pushing beyond 8-ish hundred horsepower when you do something like add this nice 3 liter Whipple to your Super Duty or if you transplant it to another application. But let's say you say, well that's fine and I'm happy with that type of power level, you're all set with a stock short block. But let's say you want to go above and beyond and you need to do something a little different. Well, you want to put a smaller pulley on your Whipple or maybe go to a Whipple 3.8 when they become available or even if uh, I think Procharger is going to have something as well. So there's going to be lots of options for the 7.3 uh, user. So this is a Kelly uh, connecting rod. It's going to be available shortly after Labor Day. They've been very, very supportive of the 7.3 program. Uh, these are forged rods. They're forged right in Michigan, they're fully machined forgings. It's a Bush small end again with a uh, standard big end, the standard 7.3 big end, which is also the same as a Coyote, which is also fantastic because there's a lot of performance bearings available for Coyote already, and they also have the little tang slots in there for those performance bearings. Um, I think it's a great rod. Um, to go with that great rod, um, would be a uh, Weissco piston. This is kind of a stock replacement compression ratio design, fully coated, um, again, good tight ring package, just one uh, we happen to put lateral gas ports in. Probably won't need to do that if you're going to be using street applications, but it was something that I, I wanted to check out. Um, this type of a setup, I'd be really comfortable at 14 to 1500 horsepower. So I think that's, you know, it's a great option, off the shelf parts are going to be available for you. But let's say you say, I want to go even beyond. Well, what we've got in this engine, which we're trying to make as much power as we can with the stock cylinder head castings, um, you know, we have another Wiseco uh, piston. Um, this piston uh, is designed though to be about 12 and a half to one compression and, uh, and give me the adequate valve clearance we need with the 900 lift Charlie Westcott cam we have in it. I do want to go back to this one thing I didn't mention that I think is important is this is set up for a 990 pin, so it's a standard off-the-shelf pin. It's a slightly different pin size than the standard 7.3, but there's so many 990 pins out there, it made sense to, if you're putting an aftermarket rod and piston, go with a stock part that's off-the-shelf and help keep costs down and availability up. Uh, likewise, this has a 990 uh, pin in it. Um, again, this engine we're looking to make as much power as possible, and when others, you know, more advancements comes in the cylinder head. You know, we went with the MGP aluminum rod. Um, again, you know, this will be reliable for drag application beyond where I'd ever uh, go with it. Uh, last, uh, over off to the side, this was a piece that uh, Viz Dave Visner made up for me at his shop. And uh, it's very similar to the Charlie Westcott part I have in this motor. So this is if you take the VCT off, and you need uh, to set the cam timing and adjust it. This is a very easy way to do it with these four fasteners. And uh, you know, so far it's proven good. I'm anxious to get this thing apart and make sure that that stock timing chain system works out well. So you know, the great news is lots of parts available: pistons, rods, camshaft. I mentioned uh, Charlie Westcott did the one for this. I'm also working on development, and hopefully when Evan comes back up, we'll be able to show some video of that as well where we're working on camshaft development with Calais. We have four uh, development camshafts coming, for uh, some for two for stock heads and uh, two set up for ported heads. We're gonna do some development on those first four pieces, then try to refine that to come up with an offering uh, for everybody. So uh, hope that uh, gives you an idea of what's available, what's coming, and uh, gets you excited about your 7.3 liter engine. All right, so one of the biggest questions that we've been getting in the comments section so far on the other uh, seven three videos is about how you're going to run the engine. And when I mean that, we're talking engine management, the fuel injection system. Brian, what are you running on this engine? 
and what's coming out, who have you talked to, have you talked to any of the uh, aftermarket companies. Uh, this looks like a unique system that I've not seen before, so tell us about it. Yeah, this uh, system that we have on this dyno is uh, from a company called OBR, um, and it's really fully compatible with all the factory sensors. So the factory VCT, the factory variable displacement oil pump, um, the high data rate from the rear of the engine, the 50, 60 minus two tooth wheel, everything is compatible, so it's a bolt-on and, uh, and you can go. Okay. And they're going to be coming out with this product you know, in the next few weeks. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, to the market. Um, in my race car, I will continue to run uh, Big Stuff 3. I got their Gen 4 system. Um, that will also be compatible with what we need to do here. Um, but again, I won't be running VCT or her displacement oil pump on that engine. Right. And Holly is also um, showing a lot of interest, and they do plan on offering something more turnkey with more of the factory VCT and variable displacement stuff working as well. Um, those are the ones I know of, um, but again, I'm sure others will offer systems as well. Cool, because that's going to be a big stumbling block if you're looking to do an engine swap, be it into an old Bronco, even I, I foresee people putting these in newer vehicles, maybe a you know, 96 Mustang or something that came with fuel injection and a lot of computer compatibility as far as dashboards and things. Um, you know, not just the older stuff. And of course, Fox buys, which we love. Um, so that's, that's, that's going to be neat. Any idea on pricing yet or anything like that? I don't. No, I don't know the, what, what, what the price is going to be because they're all going to offer with a wiring harness, you know, in the ECU. So it's, you know, pretty plug and play uh, for the end user. Oh, that's going to be awesome. So, all right. So there you have it. Um, 7.3 Godzilla. You heard it run. Big power from this thing. And, uh, I think we'll maybe do one or two more things and then we'll wrap it up. Sounds good. All right. So this is what's essentially going to be in your race car. This is the, the supercharger that will be in the race car. All right. So you saw here first, Whipple supercharged, 7.3. Make sure you check out the channel, subscribe. This is something you are not going to want to miss.